what does it all mean? I don't know. This is all confusing and vague, all these terms that we talk about in board gaming. This intro isn't working. Three, two, one, bro. What's up, everybody? My name is Nick Murphy. I'm one half of the Bros Murph, and this is Metagame Minute. Metagame Minute is a weekly segment where Mike or I talk about anything we want to talk about in the board gaming world. And this week, I want to talk about terms, um, specifically uh, terms in board games. Not all board game terms, although there are a couple people out there, like the Dice Hour, have done like a board game vocabulary video, which I actually early on found very, very helpful. So you should go watch that video. I'll link it down in the description below. Um, but I'm just talking about like, kind of vague terms that we all kind of use in board gaming that I feel like a lot of which don't have great definitions. And um, and and I was just thinking about the other day because I had mentioned that uh, there's a game that's got a lot going on. Um, and what I meant by that was there's just, there's a lot of stuff in the game. There's like a bunch of like, the bunch of different parts of the game, stuff you have to keep track of all over the place. But I remember when I said it, the person I said it to kind of was a little confused by what I meant by that. And then I really thought about that term and I was like, that term means nothing. Like, uh, it's got a lot going on. Like that, that's damn near every board game has got a lot going on. Some don't, there are some games where it, especially if they're like a smaller game, it's like, no, you can do this or you can do this, that's it. That's a game that does not have a lot going on. But most games, do. <laughs> Most modern board games have a lot going on, a lot you have to keep track of, a lot you have to think about, a lot you have to consider. And so I realized, I was like, man, uh, the term, uh, the game has got a lot going on. It doesn't mean anything. And uh, uh, but, but how I would describe it is that it's a game where you have to keep track of a lot of different stuff, or you have to manage a lot of different stuff. And that can be very difficult to do. A game uh, for example, that is something like Prodigal's Club. The Prodigal's Club is a, a, a sequel to Last Will. Uh, in Last Will, you're trying to lose all your money, but in Prodigal's Club, you're trying to lose all your money, lose an election, and lose all your friends. It's very thematic and very fun. But the the how you score the game is you have those three tracks. Again, losing money, losing friends, losing an election. And whatever is whatever track you did the worst on, that's your score for the game. So then the other two tracks literally don't matter at all. The only thing that matters is the one you did the worst on. So that's a game where you have to make sure you are managing everything. It is not a game where you can just choose, I'm gonna do this random strategy to see if it works. No, you can do different strategies, but you have to make sure you are doing all three of these things because if you don't and you would neglect one, that's gonna be your score and you're gonna lose the game. So that's what I, mean when I say, if you ever say, say something in a video, this game has got a lot going on. It means it's got a bunch of stuff that you're having to manage. Now, that may not be what you think it means. So I kind of want to go through some terms that I think are probably too vague in our hobby that a lot of us use very often. I kind of think it's funny, but also down in the comments, we can all say what we generally think this means or how we personally define them. Another one is crunchy. A game is very crunchy. Generally what that means is there are a lot of hard choices, but not necessarily like, I'm trying to think about how to put it, like, again, because it's confusing. It's a very, I see, I, I don't even know how to describe it. I just say like a game is crunchy. It's just, it's generally means it's a heavier game. There's generally a lot going on and the choices are hard. And you really think it's generally what uh, brain burning games are, games that are uh, burn your brain. And what that means is that by the end of it, your head is just like wah, 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 because you've had to think so hard. That's what crunchy means to me is a game where you're having to really think, really, really think to the point where your head is probably gonna hurt after the game. That's a crunchy game. Game's got a good, but then on top of that, like, yeah, it's, you know, it's really, really light, but it's got some crunchiness to it. And it's like, then, then that whole definition goes out the window and it's great. So that crunchiness, that's what it means to me. It's a game where you really, really have to think, but maybe you think otherwise. Another one is fiddly. Fiddly is a term that is, is very polarizing, I feel like, because there are two ways that people describe fiddly or, or define fiddly 
but and so it's usually one or the other. So some people does not define fiddly as something that has a lot of little parts. And what I mean by a lot of physical parts, a game that's fiddly is a game where you're constantly having to move stuff, or there's just a ton of stuff on the board, and you constantly have to like fill in these areas, or maybe there's things in rows that need to stay that way. So if you hit it, it just moves, and it's just it's really fiddly. It's just you you're constantly having to fiddle with it, and it's just kind of annoying. So that's one way to describe it. But the other way to describe it, and this is how I always think of it is something that's got a lot of little rules. It has nothing to do with the game board itself, but it has to do with the actual game mechanics and the rules. A game that's got a lot of little rules that you have to keep track of. You're like, oh, oh we, well, we can't do this because we have to look at the rule book to see, like, oh, that's right. Oh, this game is so fiddly. It's got so much little, so many little things you have to keep track of. So many little rules you have to keep track of. So many things you can't do because of this one little rule right here and da da da. That to me is a very fiddly game but I always hear it used the other way where it's talking about the actual physical game, but I've also heard it, people use it my way. Or is it one of those ones where it just means both and you have to figure it out by the context of what someone is talking about. Talking about context clues, third grade English. I know, I was there. And so that's how I define fiddly. So how do you define fiddly? Which camp are you in? Are you in some other weird camp, some big space camp? Remember space camp? Oh, sorry. We were gone for a week. It's my first meeting in a minute. Wow, I'm a little too rambly today. My apologies for that. So um, the last one I want to get into, because I think this is the funniest one, is a Euro game. What the hell does that mean? Now, a lot of people will define it like this. This is how I've always heard it defined, is that it's a game that prioritizes mechanics over theme. Okay, a game that prioritizes mechanics over theme. Great. I think that's that's pretty easy, it's pretty great, but every single time I have been asked the question, I've been asked a lot, what is a Euro game? What does that even mean? I have such a hard time describing it because I use that definition, but I just feel like that's not enough, especially because there are so many games that nowadays, especially that are really thematic Euro games, like something like Dungeon Pets here. Dungeon Pets is dripping with theme. Every single mechanic in that game makes sense for the theme. The theme is really, really, really well integrated in there. So then that's not a Euro game because that's a game that has, I think, put equal time and effort into the theme and the mechanics. And that goes against the definition of what a Euro game is. So people are like, well, that's a thematic Euro. But a thematic Euro, it feels like an oxymoron to me because it's like a Euro by definition is something that prioritizes the, uh, mechanics over theme and the theme is usually pasted on. So what does that even mean, man? And so I start getting these weeds of, of what is like defined as a Euro game or like these are Euro mechanics, but like, what does that mean? Especially because there's so many more hybrids coming out, games that are what would be considered like a Marathrash games and Euro games. And so I, it's a very difficult, very, very difficult term to define in my opinion. So if you have a good definition for a Euro game, please put it down in the comments. So those are all the terms that I want to talk about in this video. And this video is already getting long, so I'll go ahead and stop. But there are even more. So down in the comments below, let me know what terms in board gaming you think are like funny or like weirdly vague like that, or you think make no sense, or you define a different way. Put it down in the comments below, because I think this is an interesting discussion topic, because I think our vocabulary Having unclear vocabulary or vocabulary that's hard to grok, that's another word, what the hell does grok even mean? Grok really just means understand uh, or wrap your head around. Uh, having difficult vocabulary to wrap your head around can make the hobby harder to get into because there's all these terms you're hearing that you just do not understand at all. And so put down in the comments below some good definitions for the things I said or your personal definitions for them and other terms that, uh, we kind of, I think, need to define a little bit better if we're gonna use them this much. Put that down in the comments below. And while you're down there, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, a share, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Until next time, my name is Nick Murphy. I'm one half of the Brothers Murph, and whether you are just crystal clear on every single definition on all these, you're like, Nick, you're stupid, which is fair, um, or you're not like me, remember, the more meta, the more better. Hello. I want to let you know that we have a Patreon and that you should check it out. There will be a button some, somewhere around here probably that you can click to help out the Brothers Murph. Click the Patreon. Do it.
I also got to let you know that we're sponsored by Restoration Games and by Game Toppers. Go to GameToppersLLC.com to upgrade your game and experience. Look at that label. It's beautiful. Do it. Do it right now. I hate you. I'm sorry. I love you.